All right, so if we look at just a ball on a string or a ball on a bungee, and we just twirl it around with the wrist pretty much. So the, the tighter you keep your wrist moving, the, the more centrifugal pull is gonna be on it. So the, so the wrist is making a, a rotation, but just smaller. And if you want to make it bigger, you gotta bend things more. And if you want to really twirl something, the faster you move forward, the more flat the swing is gonna be. So it's gonna flatten as you're moving, because you're gonna be moving up and down during the throw, and the inertia of the, the disc is staying where it was, and you have to move it against that inertia. So if you're twirling a disc, on your finger, it's the same motion, but now the twirl is horizontal. This is how the disc wants to spin, uh, just naturally from inertia. And it's gonna get pulled flat from that centrifugal force. So you don't really have to uh, try to manipulate things, you just wanna let it happen from you. If I was to tilt on an axis, it's gonna stay on that tilted axis with me. It's like water in a bucket. So the plane is now this way and I'm rotating everything and just making everything bigger. And then boom. So it's not moving everything in and out, it's rotating. So the way uh, some people hold the disc is that they just relax everything and uh, they're holding uh, everything very loose and relaxed. And so the disc is going to hang with, with gravity. So this is why you see players throwing this way. It's the, the gravity is curling the wrist and it's articulating the whole arm. So gravity is pulling the whole arm this direction. Now if you extend back to your hip position, there's a rotation of the arm to get back there. So if you want to keep your backswing flat, there has to be another rotation away to keep that flat. So it's turning in and turning out. Inside, out. Out, in, out. Wide, narrow, wide. Wide, narrow, wide. So this is all rotation and articulation, but everything is still flat and fast. And I'm not pulling with the arm.
All right, so if I, I'm just standing still like this, and I'm not standing still, I'm moving my center back and forth. So I'm not really moving my feet that much. I'm just rotating or pivoting forward. Now, if I do this big burst as hard as possible, the uh, arm is going to follow through a little different when because I'm going to brace harder. Um, so instead of following through high five like this, when you uh, block and send into a bigger rotation, a faster rotation, you're going to do the same motion, but you're going to end up coming around and smacking your butt almost. So you're turning your whole arm to keep following through more, or just allowing the space. So, you notice that I got pulled around backwards on that. So, that is the bigger burst where you're bracing harder and you're going to have to rotate the whole arm a lot more all the way through. So, it's a pendulum and a pendulum. Maybe a, a huge finish. And you're not spilling the beverage. I'm not trying to use my rear arm. It was getting pulled through. So I had a portal of everything. So this is in my center. You're trying to throw it out. <laughs> it doesn't work. And this is what you see uh, David Williams, he's like, uh, let the camera for her speeder cross together and it's going all the way around. And then you keep spinning around because of all that inertia pulling around in the finish. center of gravity is making a twirl to twirl everything else. So I'm just creating a smooth twirl between everything. To twirl the disc out. And the follow through is more uh, rotary going to go back behind your shoulder and it's going to actually come back and internally rotate and smack you in the butt. So you're making a rotation of the arm. against the lower body. And this is why it's smooth gives you speed. So people are trying to go fast and really turn their hips and just this smooth motion. And the best players are just able to manipulate their center against the center of the disc. <laughs> 